this is a pretty great weapon. But there's one way to make it even better. Dual wielding. Gentlemen, greetings, and welcome to the Kinetoscope Parlor, where we meet strange and wonderful people. I'm your host, Baron Celsius von Fahrenheit, and I'm here today in the workshop of Professor Edward Bandersnap. Professor, welcome to the Kinetoscope Parlor. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Can you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm an inventor of fantastical technologies. I make gadgets and gizmos to help improve the modern world. Hmm. So you're not some kind of mad scientist? Oh no, not indeed. Not at all. Can you give us an example of one of those fantastical inventions? Why, well, yes. When you're in the middle of nowhere and would like a nice cup of tea, well, you're sort of out of luck. Unless you have one of these, the Bandersnap self-heating kettle. Using advanced technology and the induction coil around the base, it can bring it of water up to a nice rolling boil, allowing you to sit back and enjoy a cup of tea, no matter where you might be. Lovely. So what exactly are you trying to accomplish with these inventions? Well, my main philosophy and goal is to improve things through the advancement of technology, creating gadgets and gizmos that allow everyday life to run more smoothly. Well, as a matter of fact, I also fancy myself an inventor, and I brought something that I'd like you to help me test, if that's okay with you. Oh, by all means. This is the Metarealitator. It its main function is accessing what I call meta-reality. It's a reality that's even more real than ours. You don't say. Yeah. Uh, shall we try it? By all means. Hmm. Oh, uh, you are... Hi, I'm David. I go by Dave, David, hey you. I'm easy to get along with. Oh, I see. Uh, and are you related to Professor Bandersnap? Well, we bear a striking resemblance. Uh, Bandersnap is my steampunk persona. He's the character I created. It, basically, I uh, love making gadgets, like all the steampunk thingamabobs and Fushima flicks, and I needed somebody to actually be the creator of them. And hence, uh, Bandersnap was born. When you're traveling from continent to continent to bulge your dirigible, you may run afoul of several dangers, one of them being Sky Kraken. Terrible creatures, they reach the tentacles down out of the clouds and rip your dirigible right out of the air. Nasty things. You have to defend yourself, of course, and how you do that is with the Bandersnap Electrical Induction Rod. The Electrical Induction Rod uses a power crystal in the base to create a high voltage yield between the prongs. Charge the unit, zap the offending tentacle, driving the air cracking away, saving the airship. Huzzah! Even better yet, turn the power up a little higher, zap the tentacle again. Best calamari you've ever tasted. Delicious. So what exactly drew you to steampunk in the first place? Well, I've always liked the look of it. It sort of started back with uh, when I was a little kid watching uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You know, that uh, classic movie. I love the design of the Nautilus and all the stuff inside Nemo's ship. And the whole brass and wood, the aesthetic, it's just so pleasing to the eye. And is this still what you like most about it? Yes, the look in making the things that look like that. I love the maker aspect, I love combining things in new ways to create gadgets and gizmos that no one's ever seen before. And what are your tricks to making these gadgets? Well, mostly just seeing things from a different light. It's like a, I'll go into a, a yard sales and grog sales and all that and uh, pick through all kinds of brass uh, like candlesticks and such, or uh, for instance, uh, I uh, on my boiler system, the boiler plate is actually a uh, ashtray, an uh, old brass ashtray. I uh, saw this brass brass ashtray and had some carvings in it. It didn't look that good, to tell you the truth, when toss it. I flipped over. I went, "That's a boiler plate." When you're out and about on a windy day and you feel like having a nice pipe, uh, you light a match and it goes out instantly. All that breeze going by. What are you to do? With the Bandersnap self-lighting pipe, that is no longer a problem. Simply pack the pipe as per normal, depress the button on the side for 5 seconds. The induction coil around the circumference of the bowl creates a field within, igniting the tobacco for you. 
allowing you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your pipe. Outside of your persona, what do you do? Well, um, to pay the bills and that, I'm a, a photographer, in, but generally I'm a full-time geek. Uh, I love everything geekdom, mostly sci-fi, fantasy, anime, uh, just look around for a few seconds I get the hint. You're a married man. Doesn't your wife think you're a bit strange for doing these things? Well... David, have you yeah. seen my guitar wig? It's either with your... Star Trek uniform, Mirror Universe one, or the Cyberman dress. Okay, thank you. So, n not really. Hmm. If you're out and about, and wish to contact your loved ones back home, you would have to send a te telegram. It could take hours, days even. But thanks to the modern miracles of Bandersnap technologies, you can now use the Perpetetic Telephonic Articulation Apparatus. This device uses a power crystal and advanced technologies to allow you to easily communicate long distances with your voice. Simply raise the handset to your ear, move the switch on the side from awaiting reception to commence articulation, open the device, and dial the number of the person that you wish to contact. Once you are finished speaking with them, simply replace the handset on the side of the unit and move the switch back down to awaiting reception. It's that simple. Being such a geek, you will have no trouble answering your geek question. Okay. I'd like to know, if you were any character from the Babylon 5 series, who would you be? I was originally thinking I would probably want to be Michael Garibaldi. It, uh, he's such a great character, strong personality, strong moral compass. Uh, uh, but as far as who has most fun and who I think I'd really want to be, it would have to be Lando Malari. <laughs> Lando Malari, good drink, good women. Ah, oh, you can't get better than that. Indeed. Lando. Uh, can I just ask you to stand still for a second? Okay, why? By Jove, that was astounding! Indeed, it was. Mm. Thank you very much for helping me test it. Oh, you're very welcome. It's been a pleasure meeting a fellow gadgeteer. A very good pleasure, sir. Please do keep in touch. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining us today. I'm Baron Celsius von Fahrenheit, telling you to stay weird, and I shall see you again at the Kinetoscope Parlor. Hello, Alex here. I hope you liked the episode. It was a lot of work to film, but I think it was worth it. Uh, if you did like it, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can watch the other videos and uh, like, and most of all, uh, share this video. Uh, I'm not. Like I said before, I'm not making any money off of these, but reaching more people is always encouraging. And I, like I said before, it's it was a lot of work to film, mostly because we had three different setups this time. And I need to thank David and Bridget for letting me turn their house into a filming set for the better part of a day. And also for finding me a place to crash while I was in Ottawa. Uh, there's two things I need to clarify. Uh, the the I don't remember the the name he made up for it, but his uh, David's telephone. Uh, it's actually a working phone. Uh, I think that makes it even more fantastic of a of an invention. And uh, about Bridget, uh, we talk in in the little uh, joke when she comes in about like all the costumes and wigs she has. Uh, that's all true actually and she even has much more than that that she pretty much made all of these so that wasn't just for the gag she really is this crazy costumer and I also need to give a big thank you to both Guillaume and Francis who respectively made the visual and sound effect for the meta realitator uh, I think these add a lot to this episode and that's pretty much it, so like I said, please uh, like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you next time for something a bit different. <laughs>